Hello. In this video, we will learn about functions or methods in Java. Imagine you are having a grand party. You are planning for customized invites, venue decoration, music and dance, games, and of course arranging the food. Now imagine you running around and doing all of this all by yourself. And now imagine you doing this along with your friends. You coordinate the entire thing. but you outsource the decoration to one friend another one takes care of arranging for music and dance another one takes care of playing out the games and a foodie in your group gets the best food on the table sounds good well that's exactly the reason why you have methods in your code in the earlier programming languages there used to be monolithic code which used to be difficult to maintain and debug introduction of methods help to solve these problems so what is a method java methods are name block of code called any number of times perform specific task let's see this in this example suppose you have this program where you have to find square root of a number multiple times you write a method square root it takes in a number as a parameter and performs that task for you You call it multiple times in your code. When your code is executing, it encounters this method, it executes that block of code and then comes back to your code. The advantages of using methods is that your program becomes easy to understand as the complexity is hidden. Bug fixing is easy as program is better structured. You can use the function in the program wherever you need. In fact, many programming languages bundle commonly used functions in libraries or packages or APIs which can be quickly utilized by programmers without bothering about the details. There are a few disadvantages as well. The code takes more time for execution. Now let's look at syntax for method definition or how you write a method. First is method name. This is the name by which the method is called. Then there is parameter list. Parameters are also called as arguments. It is optional. Parameters are comma separated and they specify the data type, order and number of parameters passed. For example, a square root function would need only one parameter. A max or min function would take two parameters. Next is return type. It specifies the data type of value the function returns. For example, a max or min function would return what is the maximum or minimum value compared between the two parameters that were passed. If the function does not return any value, it should be void. For example, methods which are called for printing or just doing some processing and do not return anything. Next is access specifier which is public protected or private we will cover this separately but for the moment we will consider it public which means everyone can use it let's write a small sample function which finds max of two numbers if you see here we have given the function name max and it takes in two parameters which are int to compare they return a value of type int which is the max value of the two by using return a function terminates when it either encounters a return statement or it reaches the last statement of the function the first line of the function is also called as function prototype or function signature which is used by the programmers to understand how to use the function and for compilers to invoke the function properly methods are always part of some class in java a class can have any number of methods now let's use or call the function we will pass two integer numbers and assign the return value into another integer variable in our next video we will learn more about difference between formal parameters and actual parameters and also learn about different types of variables such as global instance class etc